Hi, Jeff Big Daddy here, having a little morning snort. And after we do the video, a little smoke. Um, nothing wrong with a little pick-me-up in the morning. Uh, when you're on SSI, you can do anything. I usually smoke a cigar, but uh, I ran out, so I go to cigarettes. And I know cigarettes are bad for you, but what's good for you? You can't smoke granola. And by the way, they're legalizing pot, which is biblical. It is biblical. You can tell now I'm from Appalachia, evangelical Christian. Save today, sliding back tomorrow, back and forth. Isn't that what really life is about? You wake up, you go to sleep. Isn't that it? It's biblical, the legalization of pot. Colorado, one of the first states to legalize marijuana and gay marriage on the same day. And the Bible says if two men lie together, they should be stoned. So I hope you don't mind. Out of respect, I don't smoke for you. I didn't think you'd mind if I had a little something to sip on. Now, today I'm going to be talking about the beauty of a weed. Now, a lot of people don't treasure or value what a weed is all about. A weed is a beautiful, beautiful thing when you really think about it. And really give this some thought. A weed is natural. It just grows. And, you know, you don't have to water it. You don't have to feed it. It is resilient. And anybody that takes care of their lawn or their garden knows what I'm talking about. And I started thinking, I was on my fifth cocktail. I had finished my third cigar. Uh, I don't chew tobacco. A man that chews tobacco, I worry about. I mean, you would put a dog turd in your mouth as soon as put a, a chew in there. And spitting, what's that all about? And I like to spit. Anyway, I started thinking about this beautiful weed, and I started thinking, the weed has several things. One, it's unappreciated. And in our society today, we're starting to appreciate things that have not been appreciated. The white privileged power structure has wrecked our society by valuing things like well manicured lawns, beautiful trees and flowers, and have left behind beautiful things like the weed. The weed which should inspire us. Look, it, it just grows. In its own way it's beautiful. Look, this hasn't budded yet, but it will bud with little tiny flowers. And look at the gorgeous, it just keeps growing and growing. So I made a pathetic attempt to uh, clean up the yard a few days ago. You can watch my video, White Trash Landscaping, uh, where I try to mow the dirt and do other things. But now I've, I've changed my mind on everything. Let the weeds grow, appreciate their beauty, and consider that you yourself are a weed. You may not be beautiful, you may not be needed or wanted, but there you are. That's your connection to nature and the things that make life worth living. Weeds, tobacco, liquor, and Big Daddy knows, not the wasp. I gotta get rid of the wasp. Is he around me now? Oh my God. Hi, Jeff Wayne. As you know, we broke when suddenly I was stung by a wasp. And although that is something of nature and it's something that's natural, I don't like that wasp. I want that wasp to die. Things have gotten worse. I, I, I was stung and I, I put an old Appalachia white trash uh, health cure on the bee sting, which is a uh, is mud, and uh, my arm is swollen up. It's my watch arm, and uh, it's swelling. And I'm going to go to the doctor because you don't know what kind of allergy I might have to a wasp or a bumblebee, uh, to something with a stinger. You know, which bees? I'm getting very worried. I know we need honeybees, but I understand they 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 have sex with the queen only one time, and then they die. Did you ever hear that? The honeybee has sex with the queen and dies. And I used to have dreams of that I was a honeybee having sex with the queen and just realizing when I'm done I die and I kept going I'm going to do it till my stinger falls off. That's the wrong thing for a man to dream. Was it a fever dream? An alcohol inspired dream? I don't know but right now I'm very worried about this but it gets worse. It gets worse. I thought I was getting um, mud to put on the bee sting and I thought it was tobacco juice where this guy a friend of mine was spitting that's why I mentioned that he was spitting the tobacco and then I realized it's a dog turd I've got a dog turd on my beast sting and that could infect me and cause me to die from some horrible thing and I wouldn't be able to do Big Daddy Knows anymore which are great videos you should subscribe and I want to thank that dog for the dog turd today